Good morning, brothers and sisters. Brother Ray here on this beautiful October 31st, Monday, 2022. Um, I pray that you guys are being blessed and that the Lord Jesus Christ is protecting you and guiding you. I pray that he covers your families today and each and every day and um, guides you to all wisdom and understanding and in truth um, through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Uh, may he protect you and guide you in all your ways today and um, give you a, a joy and peace into your heart in contentment as well and stay in his presence let his presence be in you at all times and you know don't worry about the world don't get carried out know what's going on in the world or whatever things that you can't control but just focus on jesus christ carry out your daily duties and your schedule for the day and let his spirit uh, dwell in and stay in you all day long and focus on his word let his word be your focus and let it be embedded into your heart so you can carry out his purpose and will in your lives. All right, I want to go over scripture today. Um, it's the Hebrews 11 and verse 6. And this is, and it starts off here with, um, and it says, Without faith it is impossible to please him. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who seek him. So our faith, when we have faith in God, we have to have faith in Jesus Christ or actually faith in God to even believe in Jesus Christ. So we have to believe that there is a God who created all things, who is omnipotent, omnipresent, um, who is in control of all things in order for us to even receive Jesus Christ and even for us to believe that he, um, ex you know, believe that he exists. But um, and by faith. When we have faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, we have faith and believe in him, then he He gives us the Holy Spirit. Um, the Holy Spirit becomes in us. That's part of being saved. Um, that's the main part of being saved is through faith. Without faith, you cannot receive God. You cannot be born again of God. You cannot receive his spirit. So by faith, uh, we are saved um, through grace. Grace. He had grace to us, sending Jesus Christ as our Lord to be our um, atonement of our sins, uh, reconciling the world back to him. Uh, so we are saved through Jesus Christ by faith. So it is impossible to please God without faith. It is impossible to carry out God's purposes without faith. It's impossible to serve him in spirit and truth without faith. It is impossible for you to be uh, born again. Unless you have faith in Jesus Christ, the whole foundation of our faith and our belief in our walk with Christ evolves around faith. You must have faith in Jesus Christ. You must have faith in God that he exists, that he's the creator of all things and the giver of all things. And you cannot doubt, you cannot have that into your heart. Even though your flesh may rise up, that's why you need to stay in the spirit. You may stay in his word, stay in prayer, stay in fasting, continue to seek him every day in patience, allowing his spirit to come upon you, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit to dwell into your lives so you can carry out his will and his purposes for your lives. Because like I said, without faith, it is impossible to please God. It's impossible to work through God. It's impossible to carry out his purposes. And it's impossible to carry out his will in your lives or to be led to be able to serve him. You must have faith. You must have belief. You must You must be in, um, I would even go further with that because, you know, faith without works is dead. So I would say you must be obedient to his word. Because faith is obedience. If you trust in something, you believe in something, if you believe in Jesus Christ, then you will obey and will abide in him. When he means abiding, meaning continual being communicated, working through him, letting his letting his word focus to your mind and your heart, keeping your mind on his things and not being contaminated by the ways of the world or your flesh as well. Because you got double, you got you got two things that work against us in our favor, our carnal flesh and our evil, wicked desires that lie within us, and then we have the ways of the world, as well the spiritual aspect as well, the wickedness and high places and things and things that are around us. That's why we must stay dwelling, abiding in Him. He always said that, abide in Him, and I will abide in you. 
So make sure that you're continually abiding in him. Make sure you're continually seeking his face. Make sure that you completely are being faithful in your heart, your through your heart, through your walk, being truthful, you know, being sincere in your walk. Continuously seek him. You know, keep tearing, keep waiting, keep having patience for his spirit to work through you every day. Get up, pray, you know, whatever you got to do, get a hold of him. If you sit in your chair before work like I am right now, I'm getting ready. I'm, I'm getting myself ready to be filled with him today because I want to be filled with his presence. I want his presence to be in me. I want to be, um, I want to be. I want him to be abiding in, I want to abide in him and I want his spirit to work in me and abide in me as well. So I'm staying here and I'm, I'm digging deep and that's what we have to do. We have to dig deep. We have to dig deeper than what we've ever done. Every day we got to get up. We have to have that mindset. I want to stay focused on Christ. I want to focus to focus on his word. I want him to work through me. I want him to draw near me. I want to draw more closer to him so I can be able to carry out his purpose and be sanctified every single day. I want to be set apart for the Lord Jesus Christ. So that's what your focus must be, you know, have faith in Jesus Christ, trust in Jesus Christ, let him work through you, because if you do, he will work for you and you will see it. You won't even you will, you will experience it and then you will be able to be used to carry out his purpose and will um, his your identity, your true identity will be um, will be found through Jesus Christ. So remember that, guys. Stay committed. Stay focused. Uh, don't let the ways of this world, don't let the deceptions of this world steer you off path. But stay connected to the vine. Stay connected to the word of God and let him work through your lives so you can be used for his purposes and to glorify him, our Lord Jesus Christ. So um, that's for today, guys. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I hope this message blesses you and uh, gives you confidence and um, edifies you guys and, um, you know, draws you closer to our Lord Jesus Christ. And um, so you can be carried out for his purposes and his perfect will for your lives. I love you guys. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, have a great, peaceful day. In Jesus' name, amen. Peace.